On the fifth day of our Road to Chicago series, we're in Cleveland, Ohio, talking to veterans about why they served and whether they think America still needs its NATO allies. Our first stop is the American Legion Post 703 in Palmer Heights. It's part of the nation's largest wartime veterans organization. We meet 89-year-old Jack Fickle, a Pearl Harbor veteran who joined the Army in 1941. And he says, okay, he says, now where do you want to go? And I says, where, where, what do you mean, where do I want to go? Where can I go? He says, you can go to the Philippine Islands, you can go to Panama, you can go to Hawaii, or you can stay here in the United States. I says, why? One thing, I'm not a stupid. <laughs> I was 18, but not dumb. A few weeks later, Jack was stationed in Hawaii. It was a Sunday morning, December 7th, 1941. Some guy said, hey, that's Japanese. No, well, how do you know? Well, you we happen to know it was Japanese. And all of a sudden, the bombs come down. The attack on Pearl Harbor forced the United States into World War II. Jack served in the Pacific. Even today, he believes America is better off when it acts with its allies. We have to have other countries with us. We can't do it alone. You can't fight, you can't fight alone. Our next stop in Cleveland is a bar where we're told veterans like to hang out. It's run by Sean Mattler, an ex-Marine, who echoes Jack's views on America needing allies. Yes, we had to go after Al-Qaeda, that was a definite. Uh, we, but we can't go it alone. We have to have an alliance with people. We can't, or else we're just going to end up being the bullies on a block. But we are Americans. We will help. You know, we are proud of who we are. We, we're all human beings. and we. You know, we, it is our, it should be every human being's mission to go out and, and defend another human being, no matter what nationality he is or they are, and, uh, but not alone. We shouldn't do it alone. We're in Cleveland on Mother's Day, a good occasion to have a street festival. Jane Lewis has a daughter who has just joined the army as a nurse. Jane would like to see an end to the war in Afghanistan and for the U.S. to focus on its domestic problems. But she still believes her country has an obligation to help others. Yes, as I think we need a, an, organization, an organization like NATO that shares, shares resources, that goes into countries that are begging for better, better living conditions, better treatment of, the, of their citizens, better having more influence in what happens to them and the rules that are the legislation about, in, in their country. I think, I think we have an obligation to share that. Dale Wick served in the Navy during the last years of Vietnam. He feels it's time for combat troops to leave Afghanistan and for America to maintain a smaller footprint there. I think that's the question now is that Helping as aides rather than a fighting force. Um, helping to train, helping to organize, that sort of thing, rather than being actually in the mix in the battlefield. I think uh, a lot of people feel that way that, sure, it's fine to stay there and help train their forces, organize them, but don't carry guns. That's it from Cleveland. Time to head on to Chicago, the last destination of our road trip.